Hello and welcome to this video. Today I'm going to show you how to start with clean code already when reading code. Let's assume we are new to some part of a bigger code base and we are about to add a new feature. The first thing we want to do is, of course, trying to understand the code. While reading the code, let's try to apply the Boy Scout rule and so get the code a bit cleaner. The first thing we want to do is reformatting the code according to the coding style of the project. The code might not already be in shape, maybe for historical reason. So let's use our IDE and just reformat the document. Let's also check for lines which are too long or too small and adjust the setting. And here we have another one. The next thing I want to do is noise reduction. This involves removing regions as well as empty AP documentation and obviously useless documentation. I would also check for commented out code as well as missing empty lines or maybe even too much empty lines. So let's add some new lines here. It makes the method obviously more readable as well as removing these useless empty lines. In the next step I want to improve the readability even further by Fixing typos, here it really helps installing a spell checker into your favorite IDE. Then I check for variable names I can improve, for example by not using abbreviations but the full word. or by removing unnecessary type information. And I also add curly brackets even to single line if bodies or loop bodies to make it even more readable. And in the last step I check whether I can improve the documentation even further by adding some comments. Maybe here we could ask why 64? Hopefully we can answer that question later on. Or maybe we can add an explanation about some aspect we already understood while reading the code. All these changes can be done while reading the code. Neither a deeper understanding of the code itself is needed, nor do we have to build up a big safety net up front. While making those changes, you should frequently check whether those changes are still reviewable and submit to your version control system before the diff becomes unreviewable. That's all for today. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe for more clean code tutorials. How do you start getting familiar with some code written by someone else? Let me know in the comments below. See you in the next video.